Hey everybody! So I just got a peacock. I picked him up yesterday and I am doing the uh, meet and greets now. I had him last night. Hey cutie. I had him in here last night with all of the other ones, all the other birds. That way they could be slowly introduced. In my last video, I did just say that my husband's been out of town for a week, a, a full solid seven days today, and going to be gone for possibly another week. Uh, he's currently stuck and broken down half a, halfway across the country. So I haven't been able to, to clean this as well as I normally do. It is, it's still absolutely just fine, and the health is just fine for my animals. Um, it is just not as cosmetically... <laughs> Just not as cosmetically pleasing, I suppose. But here we go with the introduction. I'm so excited. He's just now starting to come out of his cage. He's looking all right. He's looking pretty chill. He's not freaking out. That's Jack. He's the wallaby that you guys have seen in my other videos. I typically keep the videos separate. There are times where I'll, put, I'll bring him in here for the evening. As you can see, that's actually supposed to be for the peacocks. But every once in a while, I will, I'll put him in there and then lock it securely at night with uh, cameras and Anatolian dogs to watch him. So he's completely safe. <laughs> but he loves it down here. It's a lot better than having him up at the house like we used to do. But here we go. We've got the peacock coming out. He is absolutely beautiful. I'm very happy. Very, very happy with him. Hey, beautiful. Hi. Welcome to your new home. So at this time, um, I am getting requests for different videos of I heard music and that would have been really weird because I don't live near anyone. Um. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> Jack's are hopping around and he's freaking, freaking the goose. Hi, handsome. So I'm actually going to step outside because the other peacocks don't care for me so they'll be anywhere I'm not so here they are out here this is their little yard I have said in my other videos this is just their temporary spot we've been focusing on our wedding so we haven't built separate enclosures we've just kind of been putting the the cart before the horse um, but everybody gets along nobody's fighting and those who do fight, um, we, we work around and figure out. But, uh, yeah, no deaths due to fighting here, which has been amazing. People, the Disney princess or the Cinderella princess, because, <laughs> wait, I have another name too. Oh, the animal whisperer is another one my neighbors like to call me. And, and that is because I have all these animals that intermingle and they all get along they don't fight like it's it's kind of a really happy farm it's it's really really cool um back when we used to have the pig run around with the dogs and the goats we had several uh free range goats too um everything would just uh get along really well i would walk all the way down from my house so you have to go up that road all the way up there and then the house is up up there you can see the the that's our fire what is it, our woodshed? But anyway, so I'd, I'd walk all the way down and all the way down this way and our sawmills in that direction. My husband, when he was out working and um, <laughs> they would all follow me. I would literally have a video of me trailing with like this line of animals. It was amazing. Boys, you're so bad, R2. You're teaching sushi the bad ropes. Oh, he's such a bad chicken. He's my Cerama Bantam rooster. <laughs> his, 
That's what you get. <laughs> Wing is caught. He, his dad was actually rescued from Malaysia uh, from, from cockfighting. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so there's going to be some of this pecking. Unfortunately, I already have two males. Um, honestly. Well, you shouldn't be in there. I've told you a thousand times. You don't belong in there. Well, you... <laughs> um... So the two with the greenish blue necks are males. And then this other one is a female in there. And she, she is a pied hen, which I am so excited about. When it comes to my breeding, I like to breed really weird, funky colors. Uh, I really like to have fun with, with my hatching. And so with this white male and my pied hen, I cannot express to you how excited I am about this. The other two males too are absolutely gorgeous they have beautiful coloring to them when you really get up close so i'm hoping that they figure it out and get along it's usually been my luck so far but you never know with peacocks because they're kind of a-holes oh good grief i need to go in to rescue him oh good you figured it out hi shorzy what are you doing? Are you being a bad chicken? You being a bad chicken. Stop trying to crave all the attention. This isn't about you. No. This video is not about you, buddy. You guys keep getting out. I don't appreciate it either. I'm assuming you want food. You need to get down. Yes, you do. Get down. You need to get down. You need to get down. We got the the pied hen and the white male hanging out. That's cool. I can dig it. Ooh, Stewart, Mr. McMurray, they're getting jelly. <laughs> Great. So it's messy in there. I gotta clean it. Yay. So uh, that that's me trying to figure out how to to get <laughs> like a what's the word I'm looking for? Um a roost. I was trying to figure out a roost, but it's not very well balanced as you can see. I <sighs> I didn't really do it right. Okay, well, I gotta go fill out waters and um, do a few. Oops. Come on.
He's cool. <laughs> well, those are the peacocks. I'm so excited. I love the sound they make. It's just, uh, I remember the first time I'd ever went to Hawaii when I was little. It's probably 13, 14. And I just, I remember hearing them at some of the parks that we would go to. And it was just the most beautiful sound I've ever heard in my life. I just, I love it. I just love it. I could, I would listen to it on YouTube just at random because I just love the sound so much. And so to be able to, to grow up and get your own peacocks, like that's, that's exciting. That's exciting. You can, you can get what you want. You just have to, you just have to do it. You know, you have to put yourself in a position to do it. Oh, this is so cool guys. So cool. So I'm very excited about their peacocks enclosure. I plan on putting the peacocks, the pea fowl and the waterfowl all together in the same enclosure down the road. And that is because it's going to be huge. It's going to be, I'm getting the, the posts uh, are going to be like light pole posts. So they're really tall. They're like, <clears throat> God, how tall did he say they were? I don't know. They're, they're massive. Like we might have it be like at least just like maybe 18 feet once some of it's in the ground to sturdy it, but we might have like 18 feet tall or so. And then just really, really big. And I want a pond in there for the ducks. And, um, when you go in there, I just want it to be very, just, just perfect. You know, just a beautiful kind of, um, oasis, if you will. Um, but yeah, so that's my introduction so far i'll update you on uh, how they do later <laughs> but peacocks are they're a funny breed they do like to kind of hang out with themselves my aunt's money thinks he's a peacock though he likes hanging out with the peacocks i think that's because i brought them home together on the same day I went and got the peacocks at the auction, and then I went to somebody's house to pick up the Amsamani, like, on the way home. Like, uh, I, I'll, like, typically, we live so far away, so I'll typically try to, like, do things all in the same day if we're out and about. If I can pair them up, I will. Um, I'm surprised he's not out here with them right now. He's usually always with them. Wherever they are, he's with them. Um, he's really funny. Stop! Jack! He likes to go around and just like bear hug people and chickens and it freaks them out. <laughs> hey handsome. Cool. <clears throat> yeah, but they like click. They have their click and then they hang out with themselves and then they kind of like put their noses up like they're better than everybody else. It's really funny because they're peacocks like you think they would be superior up here and they, they act it. They really do. Their personalities are hilarious. They're the, they're the popular ones in the high school. That's pretty cool. But anyways, I'm going to finish up um, my chores. I did my last video was my morning chores and this video was just the introduction of the um, look at this poser right here. Fox. Look at him. He's so cute. <laughs> um, and yeah, I'm gonna, and then I'm gonna finish my chores. I just couldn't do it with one hand because I need to clean up buckets and fill up waters and do all that that require two hands. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do that and thank you for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed it and it has been so fun doing these recordings for y'all um I I love it I love my life I love doing this I love the chores I love the responsibility I love all of it um and it's it's been it's been interesting it's been interesting so I might do another video of like who I am in my backstory and it's going to be completely out of line out of order if you will but the thing is is I didn't plan on doing this I am not a YouTube girl I'm not an Instagram girl you know I I do have now a YouTube channel and I do have um 
my Instagram, but it was all just for fun. And I didn't expect to get the feedback that I'm getting for more videos and, and more informational um, stuff like that. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited to do all of this. I'm excited to see what happens with it. And um, yeah, but maybe I'll do a little story about who I am and how I became <clears throat> a homesteader. Thanks, guys. Take care.